Hi, my name is Peter Rowe and I'm the Managing Director of a company called Polygenomics. We're molecular biologists specialising in enhancing the performance of plants in a natural way. In around November 2011, we were contacted by a packing company from New Zealand who specialise in packing kiwi fruit and they asked if we could help them because their business was suffering immensely from a disease which had encroached on kiwi fruit in New Zealand beginning on the 5th of November 2010 and in a very short time had wiped out one third of their crop. The disease is called PSA, and it's a bacterial canker and it, over a period of time it kills kiwi fruit. We didn't know a lot about kiwi fruit when we were first contacted but with a bit of research we found that over 20 years New Zealand had managed to dominate the world generating a 1.5 billion dollar industry built around a brand and producing a remarkable piece of fruit, a very profitable and very, very nice eating piece of fruit called Zespri Gold, which is a gold kiwi fruit. We had a good look at that piece of fruit. We had a look at the issue, which, the, which was the bacterial canker which was affecting it. And based on the technology we've developed for enhancing the performance of plants, through the application of directed stress, we figured we could fix that. So over the last four months, my company has laboured to put together a plan, a project plan, to induce disease resistance to PSA in kiwi fruit. We'll do that using a technology or an approach called epigenetics, which is directing stress at the whole genome and encouraging the, the genome itself or provoking the genome to find a solution to that. Normally, that genome would die. We have the technology to rescue it each time it nearly does and eventually you end up with a plant that is resistant to the particular stress that you're subjecting it to. Not, a, not only is it resistant, but the characteristic of resistance is heritable. In other words, that plant, fertile plant, can pass that disease resistance onto its offspring. So hopefully, about this time next year, we'll have produced the world's first PSA-resistant kiwi fruit. Thank you.